So I think that there is a misconception that everyone needs a certain amount of sleep. There's individual variability. So the, the recommendation from the American Academy of Sleep Medicine and the Sleep Research Society, so two of our national organizations here in the U.S., recommend minimally seven hours of sleep. But that's the lower threshold. You might actually need eight hours or nine hours or more to feel well rested, right? I, I personally feel terrible on seven hours and I much more need the eight to nine hours. And there's those in that individual differences. So you need to find what you feel feel well rested, you're able to function well at a high level during the day, and that will then be your individual requirement. And it's all about small changes. So if you're not at seven hours, I think you shared sometimes you're 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 under that. Oh yeah, sometimes, yeah. <laughs> you know, it's about 15 or 30 minutes more can make a difference. So if you're getting six hours, then I'm going to recommend getting 15 minutes or 30 minutes more every day for this one week, and then get 15 or 30 minutes more next week so that you're building from, say, six hours of sleep to six and a half hours. And you may not think that that's that much, but we can all do 15 minutes more, right? We're less scrolling mm-hmm. or doing what we're wrapping up our day, but those 15 minutes add up. And then over the course of a week, 15 minutes will be almost two hours more sleep than if you didn't. 